boy mateys, I'm CyronCN and welcome back to Fall Guys. We gonna we gonna be playing some, we're gonna be chatting, just having some fun, you know, because I'm still at level 40. <laughs> still not really I don't really have anywhere to go, so I'm just kinda of gonna be unlocking stuff, I guess. Vibing. There you go, I am now dinosaur. This is how it is in this season, yeah. Dino. Alright. I'm still eating crackers. Um. <laughs> I was really hungry before my stream. And so I got some crackers, but I didn't have enough time to finish eating them. I keep doing this. I keep grabbing food right before I start streaming and then not being able to finish it. Oops. I thought you had somehow gotten a piratey remix of the Fall Guys theme. Nah. It is good music, though. It's really good. <laughs> I didn't have time to eat my crackers because I was fighting with someone on Discord. Was in an argument. Hey, Brick! You can see my mouse. You can see my mouse going crazy. I didn't notice that before. Ah! Anyway. Anyway, thanks to yesterday's stream, we are now at 193 followers, which is incredibly epic. I we're so close to 200. I I can taste it. I can see it on the horizon. I got a, like a 14 person raid yesterday. It was pretty crazy. <laughs> I gained eight followers in the span of like five minutes. What a Pogchamp moment, am I right guys? Yeah, this is what they call an epic gamer moment. Put this on the epic gamer compilation. I haven't played Fall Guys in a while actually. I, f I think my uh, hyperfixation has been wearing off because of the fact that I uh, don't have any more levels to go up at the moment. Uh, so I haven't actually played it in like a week. <laughs> still haven't lost my touch though. I'm still, I'm still, I'm still uh, just as much of a, a Fall Guys legend as I was before. Actually, I streamed earlier yesterday because I had a my first physiotherapy appointment, and that went really well. And I was doing exercise my exercises this morning while watching Tommy in it. <laughs> so, yeah, the okay. Actually, I did my exercise while watching Slimesicle, and then I got distracted by watching Tommy in it, and ended up staying downstairs in the basement for like an extra f fifteen minutes. <laughs> I did get my exercises done, and I'll probably do them again after this. After the stream. And so modest. Hey, I either have to be like really not confident in my skills or really overconfident in my skills, and I've decided to be overconfident. It's more fun. That's how the gamers do it. This is just this is just running around in circles, like honestly. Team Tail Tag is hard. It's it's so hard. Very hard. I'm having such a hard time right now. Oh no, my tail was stolen. Whatever am I going to do? I'll just steal this guy's tail, and now I'm fine. This is such an exciting game mode, right chat? It's so exciting. I love Team Tail Tag. That was just stolen by someone on my team. Wow. Can't believe that. This is so exciting. Just running around in circles. 
It's like the Tour de France. Oh no, I got my tail stolen. How- I'm- I'm so upset. I got a tail! Yay! I have a very fluffy, undinosaur like tail. Alright, what's up next? Give me something fun. DoorDash, not DoorDash. What was the first one I did? I don't remember. Door Jam? <laughs> door Jam? I don't think it's called Door Jam. Something like that. It's Door Something, I think. Anyway, something fun like that. I said something fun. You gave me wall guys. Teen Tail Tag is either very boring or very frustrating. That is true. I find it's usually more boring on this computer. Because on the my laptop, it's like laggy. And so people can grab my tail from like the other side of the arena and then I can't grab it back. Meanwhile on here it's a lot more balanced and so I am able to get my tail back. Or get a tail more easily. Move this over here. No, no, the first one I played, DoorDash is the one where you um break through the doors. The first one I played was not DoorDash, it was something else to do with doors. No! This one's annoying because everyone just sort of piles on top of each other and you literally- you know how to go but you just can't because there's so many people. It's very frustrating. I might make it. I might make it. If I can- if I could just- if you could just stop moving the box in the direction that I don't want to go. No! Please, 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 please. Please, oh my gosh. Also, in the stream title it says American Thanksgiving because my Thanksgiving was like in October, but I still wanted to make a Fall Guys October- I uh, Fall Guys um, Thanksgiving pun, kind of. I don't think the stream title qualifies as a pun, but I wanted to try and make a joke out of it. So, it ended up like that. <laughs> Even though I'm not celebrating Thanksgiving right now. We already did that. You guys are so late to the party. I invited Woosh to, co uh, to come on the stream today, and they were like, no, it's it's Thanksgiving, you dumb nut. And I was like, oh, yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cause I- cause it's not Thanksgiving here, I just keep forgetting about it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, why is everyone talking about Thanksgiving? It's November. And then someone will be like, it's American Thanksgiving, and I'm like, ah, oh, right, that does exist. We do things at different times for some reason. I would like to know why American Thanksgiving and Canadian Thanksgiving are coming from completely different months. But I don't know. It's Thanksgiving for me and I'm hiding from my family. I mean, hiding from your family, Valid. Watching my stream, also valid. Appreciate you being here. But if you randomly disappear, I'll know what happened. <laughs> it is literally colonizer day. Yeah. I think Canadian Thanksgiving has like a slightly different connotation to it. I don't wanna- I don't wanna get into it, but I think Canadian Thanksgiving is about something else. Because, like, whenever- in school, whenever we talked about Thanksgiving, American Thanksgiving was always, like, the- the pilgrims and whatnot. And our Thanksgiving was just like, I don't know, we're being thankful. For things. I guess. Nothing really happened today, we just kind of picked this day and decided to be thankful. And I'm like, okay, I- you know what, that's valid. I like that. There's no real reason for it. And I'm like, that's- that's fine. Get together with your family, you're thankful for stuff. No, no dirty, no dirty laundry. No skeletons in the closet. Just, just, 
Just good. This is why Canadians are the best. Thank you. I'm gonna take that as a compliment. I don't know if that was a compliment to me, but I'm gonna take it as one because... You know what? I'm like that. <laughs> Canada has a lot of issues, uh, but it is still pretty great. I like living here. Frankly. Canadians always think they're way better than Americans. Yeah, I don't think we're better than Americans. I- I just- I think our country is great on its own. It doesn't need to be compared to another country. You know what I mean? I don't like to say, oh, we're better than the US or we're better than whatever. We just are a country that exists and is good, you know? Apparently we got the first Thanksgiving as a group of explorers showed up in 1578 and had a meal to be thankful for a safe arrival. That is a good one. That is a good reason to have a Thanksgiving. That's just, they were thankful that they had arrived safely. The one in the US took place in 1612. Norway's super pretty cool. <laughs> Norway is great. Norway, Sweden, all those countries, they're great. Gate crash, that's what it is. There's DoorDash and gate crash. That's what they are. Now, on the whole, I don't like, I don't like people. <laughs> so uh, Thanksgiving, not my favorite holiday, but food is always really good. First settlers in the US were in like 1592 or something and they all died. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I don't know much about American history other than what is in the hit Broadway musical Hamilton. Um, I know more about Canadian history and I know that at least three different explorers discovered Canada and deemed it uninhabitable. Oh goodness. Hang on. Let me- let me get rid of that. Let me get- let me- let me get rid of that for you. Goodbye. Bot gone. I, I- I don't know about that much about American history. I know- I know what happens in Hamilton. And like, the truth about Hamilton. I- I um... I know like, that area of like, what actually happened. I don't just- I haven't just seen the musical and thought that was exactly what happened in history. Uh, and I also know about the War of 1812, because that was with us. So I, I know that much of American history. Everything else is Canadian history. There are also foods I know are only available in certain countries, like how you can only get Smarties in Canada. Oh my gosh, yes. Smarties in the US are what we call rockets. And what we call Smarties, they don't have? Or I, it's just like, oh my gosh. I don't know. It's such a brain melter. I really don't know. It's so confusing. I know so much early US history. Virginia does a good job teaching us that much. Yeah, like I said, I know I know Canadian history, but just like I don't live in the US, so I don't know US history. Poland was Scandinavian? I don't think Poland is Scandinavian. Just just gonna just gonna call that out there. I think I think it's like how um here you can only get like uh, penguins at certain stores that sell British Food, kind of like that. You can only get them at special places. Or places that have a more Canadian influence, like, uh, Michigan? Michigan is the one that we share that's on the border, I think. Can probably get Smarties in Michigan. I don't know. I'd have to ask my dad. <laughs> he's not here right now, but he's been all over. Dad, can you get Smarties in Mi Michigan? I would like Colum, but. He's at work, and so I don't want to disturb him with Can you get Smarties in Michigan? 
I I'm I keep getting eliminated on wall guys. This is the second time in a row I've been eliminated on wall guys. Yeah, there are a lot of states, but I mean Michigan is the one closest to me, I think. It's the largest country land border in the world. Yeah, it's pretty long. <laughs> Which is just why like anytime anyone wants to put a, a like a wall along it, we're like, why? <laughs> it's like no. <laughs> no, you can't. You have been stopped. Like even if like anyone wants to put a put anything on the on the entire border, and it's like nah, you just can't. Too big. I think it's one of the ones like Austria. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. I I think no Austria was already. I don't know. You're straining my my World War knowledge now. I used to think the Battle of Vimy Ridge was in World War II, so I mean, <laughs> that's how my brain is. Austria-Hungary was World War One. Yeah. Okay, I think we're back. I think we're back. Uh, oops. I have no idea what happened there. Not, yeah, I disconnected in the game. So I think the, the Wi-Fi might have just like stuttered for a second. Oops. All right. <laughs> back to our very interesting conversation about the World Wars, question mark. Uh, World War One was Austria-Hungary and World War Two was, everyone knows what World War Two was. Um, yeah, I've stolen a lot of things from the- I know quite a lot about the World Wars, but I keep forgetting, like, which one it was. So, like, I know about the Battle of Vimy Ridge. I know a lot about the Battle of Vimy Ridge because we were part of that. It was a very big, momentous occasion for the Canadians. Uh, but I- it, sometimes I can't remember whether it was in one or two. Hmm. Why is my connection being screwy right now? Twig, it might be you. If I'm being honest, it might be you. Yeah, disconnected again. Okay, I think- I think- I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. I'm gonna finish eating my crackers and see if it's fine.
Hopefully, hopefully we're good now. Hopefully. Uh, I think, I think Twig broke the bandwidth a bit. And I think our internet just went out <laughs> momentarily. So I, I, I think, I think we're good now. No, we're not. Okay. 